So number one then from the 2006 Higher Maths Paper 1, Lines in a Triangle. Two particular lines, median and altitude. And you don't even need to know which is which because it says the median BD, and there you are right enough, D is the middle of that side, and the altitude AE, and there you have a reminder, the altitude means it hits it at right angles. So first of all, what's the equation of the median BD? So median BD first of all. Well, it's a line, so you'll be putting down that equation, y minus b is mx minus a. In which case you'll need a point on it, well you've got a point already here, and it's gradient. Now to get its gradient, you would need two points in a line or some other comparisons, but you could figure out the point d, so that'll be the first part. Where is d? Which is the midpoint of bc. So d is going to be the midpoint of, sorry, ac. So for D, that means it's halfway between 1 and 7, and halfway between negative 2 and 12. Halfway between negative 1 and 7, I'll just set out the working. Halfway between 12 and negative 2, you could write 12 plus negative 2, or maybe just 12 minus 2. Which means that D is going to be the point at 6 divided by 2 is 3, and that's 10 divided by 2 is 5, and there's the first mark. Now you can get the gradient. The gradient of BD will be the distance up divided by the distance along. How far is it along? How far is it up? What's the distance up the way? That'll be the difference in the Y coordinates. What's the distance along the way? That'll be the dis difference in the X coordinates. At this point I might add to my diagram 3, 5 so I can see quite clearly the numbers I'm subtracting. Quite often if you didn't have a diagram there, you might put these numbers down, negative 2, negative 5, going to 3, 5, just to make sure you do your subtractions the right way. y2 minus y1 for the difference in y, 3 take away negative 2, x2 minus x1 for the difference in x. But the diagram in this case shows it quite clearly, so I don't really need that. So that will be 5 take away negative 5 over 3 take away negative 2. Difference in the y's, difference in the x's. 5 take away negative 5 is 10. 3 take away negative 2 is 5. That means that the gradient of BD is 2. There's your second mark. So all that's needed is to pop that into this one. You could choose either point. I'll stick with this one here. So finishing it off with the equation of the line, that means that the median BD has equation y minus the y coordinate, 5, equals the gradient 2 times x minus the x coordinate 3 and that's all you actually need to do for the third mark. Slot those numbers into that equation. Well, of course you know you're going to be using that later to find a point of intersection so I'll tidy that up. y equals 2x minus 6 plus 5 minus 1. And I'll call that equation 1 because I'll need to pair that with the other equation to get the point of intersection. Now there's no further marks for doing this. You get the third mark simply for slotting those numbers into that equation. Now for part B. Find the equation of the altitude AE. The altitude is the line that goes from one vertex to meet the opposite side at right angles. You don't even need to know it because it showed you it there. There's the line going from the vertex to meet this at right angles. It's a line, so its equation will be y minus b equals mx minus a. So all I need is to find a point on it. I've got a point on it. And it's gradient. Now to get its gradient, I can't use e because I don't know where e is. I can't assume it's the midpoint because that would only be the case of a perpendicular line if you had an isosceles triangle. So I can't use the point E, but I can use the fact that that's a right angle to make a comparison between the gradient of that line and the gradient of BC. If two lines are perpendicular, then the product of their gradients is negative one. That means that the perpendicular gradient will be the negative of the reciprocal of whatever the gradient is. So, what's the gradient of BC then? Gradient of BC will be the difference in the y-coordinates over the difference in the x-coordinates. So I'll set out here. 
that's negative 2, take away negative 5 for the difference in the y coordinates, and that's 7, take away negative 2 for the difference in the x coordinates. Well, you could be brave and put that down straight away as plus and plus. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3, 7 plus 2 is 9, so that means the gradient of BC is one third. That's the first mark for this part. Which means, straight away for the second mark, you could just state that the gradient of AE would be the negative of the reciprocal. Turn it upside down and change its sign over. Or you could show that fact, although there's no marks for this, you could show that the gradient of AE is the negative of 1 over the gradient of BC, which you normally don't do, but it doesn't take long to write that down. Therefore, giving you the answer, negative 3. That's your second mark. Now, as before, the third mark is just for slotting the numbers into that. And not doing anything with them, just slotting those numbers in. That x, that y and that gradient into this, a mark. So for the gradient of the line, I'll put it down, it was the altitude AE, gradient, or the equation of the altitude AE is going to be y minus the y coordinate of a point, that'll be 12, is the gradient, that's a negative 3, times x minus the x coordinate of the point, so that's negative 1, I could even just leave it as a negative 1, and just by that simple slotting in of those three numbers, you get the third mark. However, you know you're going to use that equation, so tidy it up. That goes into the simple y equals mx plus c form, which is a very useful one. So that's going to be y equals negative 3x, but that will be plus 1 multiplied by that, negative makes it negative 3, plus 12 is plus 9, and I'll call that equation 2. No more extra marks for doing that, but you'll need that for the third part. Now the third part is to find the coordinates of the point of intersection. That's this point here. If you had a diagram, you could put down a letter and refer to it with that. Now for the point of intersection, these two equations have got to give the same result on that point, so this will be simultaneous equations. And the first mark out of the three for this is indicating you're going to use simultaneous equations. So if I write down my two equations, and then start off by saying, well, I think I'll substitute that. We'll do substitution first. I'll say substitute one in two. That would be sufficient for the first mark because I'm indicating I'm going to use simultaneous equations. And if I do substitute that in, I'll end up with, instead of that y, I'll have 2x minus 1 equals negative 3x plus 9. Or maybe put it at this point. There's the first mark. I'm going to use simultaneous equations. I've used substitution. Now just tidy that up. There's two more marks, one for the x, one for the y. Bring that over, gives me 5x. Bring the negative one over, gives me a 10. So I've got x equals 2. That's the second mark. And then putting that back into whichever one is more convenient for finding y, probably number 1. So I'll say substitute x equals 2 in 1. That would give me y equals 2 times 2 minus 1. It's always handy putting a bracket around something that's been inserted into an equation, whether it's negative or not, which gives me y equals 4 take away 1, which is 3. That's the third mark. Now, as far as the marking scheme is concerned, that's all you have to write. x equals 2, y equals 3, because strictly speaking it said, what are the coordinates of the point? Well, there's the x coordinate, there's the y coordinate. I always feel it's safer or neater just to finish it off with a nice looking proper coordinate. So that I would put down intersection, I could write N if I had a diagram, but no, I'll just put intersection, put N in this case because I've given it a name, otherwise you just put the points. Or not at all, because you don't even need to do that according to the marking scheme, but I think it'd be good practice always to write it out. If it says what are the coordinates of the point, there it is. Of course, the alternative to doing substitution would be to use elimination if you wished. So your first line would probably be to say this. You've got your two equations. So you would have y is 2x minus 1. 
y is negative 3x plus 9, with a line under them, because obviously the y's could go. And for the first mark, just indicating that you're going to use elimination would work. Probably start off with your intention. Eliminate y. So if you take equation 1 and equation 2, and do 1 take away 2, 1 subtract 2, you would have 0 equals 2 take away negative 3 is 5x, negative 1 take away 9 is negative 10, so that's 5x equals 10, x equals 2 as before, and then of course to work out y is just substitution, the same as in this one. So indicating that you're going to use simultaneous equations is one mark, getting x is one mark, and the same as before, getting the y as the other mark, the third mark. There it is, question 1.